So for the analysis of the collisions, I decided to analyze the whole set from January 1st to February 28, 2022, using Excel, Power Query, and Power Pivot to slice and dice the data. And um, since this analysis has been commissioned by the New York Police Department staff and risk assessment team, uh, we are here to help them uh, stand to their mission of to protect and to serve. And so identify and I like patterns and the trends to respond to the main critical issues. So since we have been commissioned the answer to these four questions, um, we decided to analyze the seasonal patterns globally uh, by month, including the three metrics, the collisions, injured and deaths. We have also responded to the weekend day trend by first um, creating a two hour zone um, area and also subdividing the analysis by borough. This way we could staff better the policemen on the field. Uh, the three metrics are analyzed independently in this case. Then we have decided together with the staffing and risk assessment team to create this danger index, which is a different weight of the three metrics, giving more emphasis to deaths, uh, because in case of a lawsuit to the municipality, this is where we will pay more um, in terms of insurance and penalties. So, so we want to um, have more emphasis on the deaths. In this case, we have identified the streets and the intersection that have the higher risks. Last but not least, the contributing factor has been analyzed in terms of factor and borrow for all of the three collisions so that we can focus on each of the different metric uh, on a separate way. In terms of seasonal patterns, we see that the uh, collisions and injured and also deaths follow a similar trend uh, from April raising until um, stabilizing until October and then decreasing during the winter times. Uh, the peak of collision has been in June, but we had two peaks of deaths in May and October. And by analyzing further the details, we have discovered that February 2022 has been the deadliest in the last 14 years. So we want to have a better look at this month, just to point out if something is going wrong and target better situation. Present the data in the dashboard. We have identified the streets and the crossing, classifying based on their danger index. And we have highlighted the contribution of each metric. So for example, we can say that Grand Central Parkway had a higher number of deaths. And so it scaled above uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt Drive because of higher risk compared to the danger index that we have uh, analyzed. And the top factors have been highlighted in a different color, just to draw attention on which is the main factor per each situation represent the um, value of collision or other metrics. We have decided to present a heat map with the two hour zone based on a weekly trend and also using the same colors of the police department logo to uh, highlight the peaks and the days and times. So this uh, will be more analyzed. At the end of the day, what are the insights that we can take away from the analysis are mainly three is that we have two time zones that are more prone to, have, to see collisions, 2 to 4 p.m. and 8 to 10 a.m., which probably are the peak hours from going to office and, or taking kids to school and coming off from work. So we have to plan official, officer shifts to overlap more in these time frames. Uh, since collision happened mostly due to failure in respecting the common best practice of safe driving, we have uh, to organize campaigns promoting safe driving in schools and community with the risk assessment team. And unsafe speed is the number one cause for deaths, which differently from collision and um, injuries happen during 2 to 4 a.m. Um, on Saturday and Sunday. So we have not just to staff policemen in these hours, but also to enforce more rigid rules and penalties for speeding. So we have uh, a better control. So I think it's mm, time to go into the uh, dashboard. So the dashboard is uh, created by having the main information on the top left with collisions, injured, and deaths. So these are the totals throughout the time span. And uh, still also we highlight what are the maximum collision and deaths, which are the two key points for us to control and the uh, values of February just to over, um, overstate and focus the attention on what has happened in this month. Uh, the general and global trend are here on the left, 
And by means of these uh, filters, you can of course decide to highlight when deaths have occurred the most. And we can see that there is a different trend between collisions and deaths in uh, New York. Or if we focus on a, one of the boroughs, in this case, Brooklyn, we can say that globally we have same story as the general uh, distribution in New York. But for example, if we go and analyze Staten Island, we see that we have collisions follow the same trend, but deaths are more distributed in other time zones. So here may tell us a story that there are different situations in here. So we don't have to stuff at night, but we have to stuff during the winter time. Last but not least, it's important to just have the metrics for February 2022, just to understand if this is something exceptional or if there is a trend. And in this case, I decided to put as well unspecified, which is not considering the rest of the factors, because this time it's very important because it's a trend that has to be analyzed if it is what factor corresponds to these unspecified. And so I have better insight. So thanks for your attention and I'll stop the sharing.